now to Gander Green Lane on this very windy day. As you can hear the fans welcoming the boys out onto the pitch, I will go through the team sheet with you again. So for Sutton United, number 26, Jamie Butler, number two, Dale Bennett, number four, John Barden, number five, Ben Goodliffe, number six, El Capitan, Jamie Collins, number seven, Tom Bolarumwa, number nine, Omar Bogle, number 10, Harry Buterman, 18, Will Randall, 24, Rob Milton, 27, Aaron Jarvis. On the bench, we have number one, Ben Dezutti, number 11, Dylan Kearney, 14, Craig Dundas, 17, David Adjaboy, and number 25, Dan Matasaka. For Chorley, uh, number 22, Joe Anton, number two, Matt Channel, number three, Adam Blakesman, number 16, Lewis Baines, captain number four, Andy Teague, number six, Colin Hepburn Watchers, number seven, Alex Newby, number eight, Josh O'Keefe, nine, Elliot New, um, nine, Marcus Caver, number 11, Elliot Newby, number 20, Chris Holroyd. And here we go, Jamie Collins launches the ball up front, as is the Sutton United custom way to do, head of the way, down to Bennett on the right hand side, he crosses the ball into the box which is now headed away, playing around on the edge of the box, Boller room wide just passes it back to Bennett, Bennett crosses the ball in and here it comes to Omar, Omar and it's cleared away. So Sutton straight from the off of getting forward, we're not hanging about on this, but we've been uh, caught out on the Chorley counter here, Chorley are getting forward, number 11 puts the ball through, comes to nothing, Jamie Collins has gathered the ball. We are to balls crossed in and it is played away. Back up to the front. Back up to the front with our number nine, Marcus Kaver. He's just holding it up, waiting for us. Comes to the ball. He's got it. He's going to number, number seven on the right. And it's played back onto the right in the Sutton United's half. Cross into the box. Headed away. He then plays a long ball up front, headed down by the Chorley striker over to the right, right where it's, they're playing a bit of ticky tack on the right hand side, making the run down the far right, and there's a cross which is headed out, uh, which is deflected out, it's gone out from another Chorley. So here it goes again, in it comes, and again he's fallen the Mario up, and this is second goal! being 2-0 down. Sorry, just on the edge of the Chorley box. Throws it into Omar Bogle, who just loses the ball and it's cleared straight up. And it falls back to Jamie Collins on the edge of his up the pitch. Plays the ball long, up to Jarvis. Jarvis gets his head on it. Comes to Omar. Omar, come on. And then through to Jarvis. Get in! Get in! There you are. I told you that this thing could be Aaron Jarvis. Get the goal. It was a long ball up from Jamie Butler, headed down by Jarvis to Vogel. Vogel managed to play the ball through to Jarvis, and Jarvis taps it home to make it 2-1. So as we say that, here comes a long, surely free kick onto the 
there to just be subtle now. Like, comes the area. He pulls the carver. Carver has the shot and it's blocked. It's falling back to him, but he's he's got snuffed out by Sutton United players there. Had a wall of them around them. They played the ball out, but he's fallen on the box at the edge, on the edge of the box to Chorley. And here comes a oh he's thinking about the shot, but he's got, again a long shot. Oh, that's just gone over the just gone over the goal there. Appealing for a corner there, but nothing given. Like I said, um, there's been a lot of rinse and repeat from the Chorley, from the Chorley defence. Uh, they'll gather up anything that we lose. Play the ball, play a long ball. Not a lot's coming of it, to be fair. Here we are um, saying that. Barden is getting down the right, plays it to Bolaruma. Bolaruma's on the right, puts a cross into the Chorley box, headed away. And it falls back to Bolaruma in the box. Comes to Bogle, Bogle loses out, he's still on it. Takes a shot, oh, and it just goes wide. Keeper. Manages, Keith got a hand to it, pushes it wide, and now Sutton United have a corner of our own. So we are in the middle of the field with Chorley, who just playing the all around at the back. And as you can hear, if you can hear over the wind, that is a half playing whistle. Uh, so it's half time, Chorley 2. So Chorley are to kick off. And here we go, second half starts. Come on, you. <laughs> So we are truly the man who led the way by This is the same position where both truly goals came from. Hopefully, some of that can rub off on Sutton. Whipped in, headed away by the Chorley defence, good header. Falls back to John Bardi, who's been impeded there, and it's a free kick for Sutton. And here we are now, Falls whipped in, headed through, saved for the keeper, cleared by the defence. Fantastic as a play. I think that was Omar Bogle then that headed the ball through. Great save by the goalkeeper, and then cleared by the defence. Out for Sutton, throwing. The players are really. Working, working as hard as they can, but truly doing a great job at keeping their shape and pretty much stopping everything that we can think of. Oh, there we go. Here's something that can make the Sutton United fans happy. There's a free kick to Sutton. Whistle's blown. Taking uh, four steps back. Dying this up. If he doesn't take it quickly, the ball's going to move in the wind. Here he comes. Free kick. Short of goal. And it's Gets the in. It's fairly simple. Three kicks go. He's taking it. I don't think the Chorley goals jumped. I think they thought he was going to go under. Uh, he's taken it and he's managed to get it up and over in the right hand side uh, corner, bottom right hand corner of the Chorley goal. And here you can hear now it's 2 2 at Gander Green Lane. And straight from the kickoff now, you can see the Chorley players are a bit within their teeth. They are straight up the other end and they're looking to get their lead back. They're attacking down the right and they've just gone out for a goal kick. But straight from the goal kick there, uh, straight from kickoff, you could see that the Chorley players were straight away wanting their lead back. They want to get back in front. Closed out by the Sutton defence. Bennett plays the ball long to Bogle. Bogle plays it out on the wing. Bolaruma, Bolaruma is running down the right. Does a little step over, plays the ball in, and it's cleared away by the Chorley defence. Here it is, it's Randall on the left hand side. Barden in the middle, Barden takes a long shot. Ooh! Long shot, dead down the middle of the goal, straight over. Long ball now from Butler up to Bolaruma. Bolaruma wins the ball and it goes, goes long to Randall. Randall loses the ball. And now Masanka is on the ball. He loses it out to Butman. Butman now loses it onto the right side of the field. Here it was with Newbury for Chorley attacking Sutton. Masanka taken down by Collins. Nothing given by the ref. I think Masanka may have gone down a little easy there. Because he's had one or two that he's gone through, he's gone down for uh, justly. And I think he may have been looking for that just a little bit too much there. 
Bonnaruma now attacking down the right. He's looking to put an early cross in. He's thinking about it. He's taking on doing the one two step over. Puts a cross in. Oh, and that's just gone over everybody's heading out for a goal kick for Chorley. Randall into the box. Oh, oh, Randall. Great header, a uh, great ball into the box. Ben Goodley uh, with the header. And it just went over the bar. But here he comes. Goal kick. And this one just makes it past the halfway line. Oh, Masanka won the ball there. Well done to Masanka. Puts the ball in. Header back in the T Sutton goal. Looping header wasn't ever really gonna ever gonna threaten. But the Chorley faithful there showing their appreciation for the attack. And that's Collins cleared. Collins cleared all the way out. Kearney, Kearney's on the end of that. He's gonna chase that all the way down. That may go out, but he's just saved it from going out. But as that he's now lost the ball and it looks like he's gonna be cleared long by Chorley. Chorley clear that long. And now Jarvis is on that. Jarvis to Milson, Milson to Butiman. Butiman looking for the century. That's Boy. That's Boy. Fresh legs. He's going to take on the man. He's making a run down the flank. He's going to put a cross in. The cross is put in. Headed away by the Chorley defence. Clear. Tried to clear long, but it's only for Jonathan Barden. Barden back to Adi Boy. Adi Boy taking his man on. Done really well in the box. Put the cross in. Nobody's on the end of it. And that's gone out. Oh, and sat in the right corner. Potentially, maybe one more tap and maybe a final whistle. No, there it is. Final whistle at Sutton 92, Chorley 2.